Well, a lot of you guys wanted more of a, an in-depth look at this van, and it's not in too bad a shape. You've already seen under the hood there. As you can tell, this thing's kind of been rode hard and put away wet. I'm missing a mirror there. That tire don't look too bad. I don't know about the rest, though. Yeah, that one's kind of bald. Yeah. So it, it does need work, and as you can see, it's pretty rusty here at the bottom. I haven't been all the way underneath the van to take a look at it, but uh, he also said the needed a wheel bearing. I haven't looked at that either, but uh, I think I think these apparently the sliders aren't very happy right now, but it's uh, not too bad. Some sticky crap on top there. I don't know what that is. Couple of dents and dings here and there, but it goes down the road and it still runs. This door works. I don't know what the deal is with that, but apparently I can't lock it no more. And I have, or he still has this rear seat that I can go get. Um, but yeah, it's dirty. There's crap everywhere. It hasn't been cleaned yet. Maybe it never will. <laughs> I have no idea. But let's fire it up and uh, show you a little more of the inside. Oh, headlights broke too. Still lights up, so I don't really care. I got leather seats, nice big uh, captain's chairs in here. They're pretty cool. Got myself a nice new fancy pair of glasses. Won't be wearing them anytime soon. And this thing's got about 8 million buttons. I don't know what they all do. Looks like we got heated seats. Traction control. I don't know what that is. Windshield wipers. All sorts of fancy crap. As you can see, the radio works. But we don't want that on. Runs nice and smooth. Apparently I need to change the oil and service the traction system. Um, it's got 214,956 miles. And this, I thought this was cool. It's got a tape player in here, old VHS. And the screen's up there. And I got more random buttons. I can go 81 miles. Pointing north. Yeah. Well, let's, uh, pop this tape in it does work we'll uh, we'll learn how to safely ride a Toro motor or mower looks like the play buttons kind of crunched up in there but I'm gonna pull the screen down to make it work I think all right let's go in the back since the side doors don't really work very well Messy, messy, messy. But as you can see, the screen works anyway. Apparently I have a I have some sort of a climate control back here. I don't hear any sound coming from it though, so I don't know if the sound works or if I have to plug in headphones or I really don't know what the deal is with that, but the screen works. So there's a little bit more of a an in-depth tutorial or an in-depth shot of the uh, silhouette here. I got headphones. They're broken, but I don't hear anything coming out of them. I don't know if they're battery powered or what. But, ooh, a big sharpie. Uh, I don't want to draw anything in here. But there's the van for you. And a little update on this, uh, we just used it to haul hay, so that's why the side's off, but uh, I just got in the mail today new lower ball joints, and I'm going to be getting uh, the U-joints for the front end here, and I've already got new radius arm bushings and brackets, because this one's, this side at least is rusted out, and 
kind of broken so I got new bracket new bushing all that I also got a filter for the uh, transmission so I can change that fluid and I'll probably go through and uh, and do the uh, fluid in the the differentials here too just to make sure that it's not gonna like blow up down the road now that I got it actually working so not sure when I'll get to all this but uh, at some point I will and of course I need to still get front end parts I haven't uh, decided when I'm gonna get those yet but that's just cosmetic garbage it still works for what I need it to do so those videos will be coming up at some point